Ibrahim Minasui, third secondary, second term. We have three Mr. Ibrahim Minasui, third secondary, second term. We have three lessons in this video. The first one angled between two straight lines. The second one is length of perpendicular. The last one is general equation. The first lesson is a measure of angle between two straight lines. <coughs> if we have two straight lines, which are L1 and L2, we want to find the measure of angle between them. Then we must have the uh, M of L1 and M of L2, which is the slopes of L1 and L2. We want to find the length of or the slope of L1 and the slope of L2 to find the theta, which is the angle between L1 and L2, by using this rule. By using this rule, tan theta equals m1, the slope of L1, minus m2, the slope of L2, all over 1 plus m1, m2 between absolute value. Okay, and the theta lying between 0 and pi over 2, which is 90. Okay, for m1, we can find it by using 10, 10 theta 1, m2 equals 10 theta 2. Okay, we have notice or remarks if the tangent is positive, then we have acute angle, if the tangent is 0, then they are parallel or coincident lines. If the tan is undefined. If the tan is undefined, then they are perpendicular or orthogonal. And if the measure is obtuse, obtuse here is supplementary of the acute angle, 180 minus the angle. Example, we have two straight lines, L1 and L2, and we want to find the measure of the angle between them. First, we must find the slope of L1 and the slope of L2. Here L1, its slope is negative coefficient of x over coefficient of y, which is negative 1 over negative 2 equals half. The slope of L2, M2, negative coefficient of x over coefficient of y, which is negative 2 over 4. Therefore, M1 equals half, M2 equals negative half. By substituting in the rule, M1 minus M2 over 1 plus M1, M2 between absolute values equals half minus negative half over 1 plus m1 m2 which is equals 4 over 3 shift 10 4 over 3 press shift 10 by using calculator therefore the angle between them is 53 degrees 8 minutes here we want to find the angle between two straight lines two straight lines but L1 in the vector form, L2 in the vector form also. We know that we can use 4 and 3, which is u, okay, to find the slope equals y over x, 3 over 4. Therefore, M1 is 3 over 4. M2 here equals negative 1 over 7. And find the angle between them by using the rule tan theta equals M1 minus M2 over 1 plus M1 m2 which is equals 1 tan theta equals 1 therefore theta equals 45 degrees another example find the, the measures of angles of triangle abc where a equals 65 b 61 and c 31 find the slope of ab bc and ac slope of ab by using u2 y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals 4 over 0 and define then AB is parallel to Y axis okay the slope of BC equals 0 slope equals 0 then it's parallel to X axis the slope of AC 5 minus 1 over 6 minus 3 equals 4 over 3 the angle between AB and BC here parallel to Y axis here parallel to X axis then the angle between them is 90 degrees, which is angle B, which is angle B. The measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. We want to find the measure of angle C. Therefore, tan C equals M1, M2, the one angle C here, where subtim is 0, or 4 over 3. M1 minus M2 over 1 plus M1, M2, which is equals 4 over 3. You have measure of angle C, shift 10, 
4 over 3 get 53 degrees and 8 minutes. Of course, the measure of the third angle, we can use 180 minus the sum of the other two angles, which is equals 36 degrees 52 minutes. Second lesson is the length of perpendicular from a point to a straight line. We have a straight line and a point. We want to find the length between this point and the straight line by using this rule. By using this rule. Absolute value ax1 plus py1 plus c all over square root a power 2 plus b power 2. And a will be this coefficient of x and y before any substitution I mentioned in examples a lot. Example number one, find the length of perpendicular from the point 35 to the straight line R equal negative 1, 2 plus K for negative 6. Come on, one the element vector form. We want to convert it into Cartesian form. Now, Cartesian form, we want to find point and the slope. The point we have negative 1, 2, and the slope is negative 3 over 4. They are only applicable. Okay, I will add the point, negative 1 or 2, will the slope have negative 3 over 4? Come on, I have the equation, y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals the slope, cross multiplication, 4 times y, 4 times negative 2, for y minus 8, negative 3 times x, negative 3 times 1, negative 3x minus 3, so negative 3x comes here, positive 3x plus 4y, negative 3 comes here, positive negative 8 plus 3, which is negative 1. Then we have the Cartesian equation, 3x plus 4y minus 5 equals 10, and we have a point 3, 5. I will have in the left hand square root, and I will coefficient 3 power 2 plus 4 power 2, then Pythagoras does not. Okay? I take the whole absolute value and substitution. This is an executive equation there without equal zero. Without equal zero. And I'm substitution. And she put the x and put the 3. And put the y and put the 5. Okay? You have 3 times 3 plus 4 times 5 minus 5. Okay? Between the one absolute value and the length, so we must find the positive value. Okay? Which is equals 4.8 length units. Another example finds the length of perpendicular drawn from the point A424 to the straight line passing through the point negative 2, 0, where the slope be I for 6. And I'm going to the point. And the slope, we are going to the point. We are going to the Cartesian form. Y minus Y1 over X minus X1 equals the slope. We are going to the result in the 5X minus 6Y plus 10 equals 0. And I'm going to say that we square root 5 power 2 plus 6 power 2 in the denominator for oh, an M substitution, okay? Put 2 instead of x, okay? And put 4 instead of y. Therefore, 5 times 2 minus 6 times 4 plus 10 to get 4 over square root 61. Let me slide it down to the Okay, another example. If the length of the perpendicular drawn from a point 7c to a straight line, takes x minus 8y plus 17 equals 0, equals 3.5. Now we have the length of perpendicular is 3.5, and we have the equation at the point 7 and c. We want to find the value of c. Okay, by using the same rule, okay, and the second rule, and the length of perpendicular 3.5. I'm going to substitution for put 7 instead of x, put c instead of y, therefore 6 times 7 minus 8 times c plus 17 over 6 power 2 plus 8 power 2, which is 10. Tamam. Tamam. 10 times 3.5 gives me 35, therefore absolute value tamam, 42 plus 17, which is 59 minus 80 equals 35. As we started before, we want to remove the absolute value and put positive or negative 35. Therefore, 59 minus 8c equals positive or negative 35 and separate them. More than positive, positive, more than positive negative. If I have two solutions, c equals 3 or c equals 47 over 4. Another example proves that two straight lines are parallel and we want to find the distance between them. Come on, parallel, and I'm giving the negative coefficient of x over coefficient of y, and I have a negative 1 over negative 2, which is equal to half, 
also here negative 2 over negative 4 which is equal to half the slopes are equal therefore two straight lines are cut and then split is that give the distance between them now for point from one equation we have to have the two to another equation is that and show the lot uh -huh. okay the lot is parallel each of them equals half and then they are parallel and then we have the next equation we know that for example there is the equation and put the x of 1 Equal x of 1 if a 1 minus 2y plus 11 equal 0 if a negative 2y equals negative 12 therefore y equals negative 12 over negative 2 which is x 6 if I'm having an x of 1 the y line becomes 6 if I'm having a point I'm going to have a straight line I think I have a lens I'm going to have an equation to have a straight line in tiny by using the same okay in a square root 2 power 2 plus 6 power 2 which is equal to root 5 and substitute and put the a, put 1 instead of x, put 6 instead of y, and by substituting in the rule, we have 3 root 5 over 2. Okay? So last the lesson which we have, general equation. And then we have to do it. 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 Okay? Find the equation of straight line which passes through the point of intersection of the two straight lines. 3x plus 2x plus 3y equals 18, and the another straight line, its equation is 5x minus 2y minus 7 equals 0, and it passes through the point 5 or 3. Yani calendar. I will have a given intersection point between these two straight lines by using calculator, mode equation 1, put 3, 2, 3, 18, 5, negative 2, and positive 7, negative 7, go there, positive 7. We get x equals 3 and y equals 4. Then the intersection between two straight lines is 3, 4. Then we have to And then two straight lines at home. We have to give it straight lines by black. An intersection between them is 3, 4. We want to find the equation of a straight line by blue, okay? Passing through the intersection point and point 5 with 3. طبعا احنا لازم نكون من خلال هذا الوان في الايكويشن كده قلت لكم الدرس ده ما فيهوش حاجه جديده. عند تو بوينتس فايند ذا سلوب احنا محتاجين سلوب اند بوينت نجيب السلوب يلا نجيب السلوب هنقول له ام ايكوالز 4 ماينس 3 اوفر 3 ماينس 5 ويتش ايكوالز نيجاتيف 1 اوفر 2 عندي السلوب استخدم الرول واي ماينس واي 1 اوفر اكس ماينس اكس 1 واي ماينس 4 اوفر اكس ماينس 3 ايكوالز سلوب كروس مالتيبليكيشن تو فايند ذا General equation here is x plus 2y minus 11 equals 0. Thank you. Good luck.